So, in this box, obviously I unboxed and used everything, by the way. So, dun 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 dun. First, let me show you the mirror. If you followed my Instagram, you probably already had a peek on this. This handhold mirror is so pretty. It's all like a strawberry theme, but this is like, just looks so delicious, so dreamful and so romantic. Very, very good quality. Give you good weight when you hold it. You feel like I'm not holding something cheap and cheerful, you know what I mean? This time they gave this mirror for free because I purchased the four items. So they had like a package deal. And you already know what I bought. And today's video will be mainly the review. And I know you guys will be interested in the eye look and the two eyeshadow palettes. I've done a tutorial video for both palettes, which will come out after this video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay. To start with my summary, this time, all the items I purchased, I clearly feel the quality of Flower Nose product has gone up a, a level. Very, very noticeable, which I'm absolutely impressed. To be honest, I didn't have high expectation of the eyeshadow palette, although I've seen so many good reviews, I've seen the swatches online. By the past experience of using Flower Nose eyeshadow palettes, I always feel a little bit, the quality is, but this time, the eyeshadow palette's quality, pigmentation, performance, way above their price. Way above their price. Is a star can compete with some high-end products that put that way. So let's start from the eyeshadow palettes then. And this time I got two, there are four eyeshadow palettes in total. This time I got 04 and 02. The full name of the eyeshadow palette is Flower Nose Strawberry Rococo Series Five Color Eyeshadow Palette. And the one which advert the most is the one which is very colorful, that like macaroon collections. I was going to buy that one, however, it's just for, for the colors combination, for me in particular, it's just not that practical, not that easy to be used on daily basis. So I didn't buy that one. However, if you still fancy a little bit of color and you want to do something different, but still kind of daily wearable per se, I would highly recommend palette 04. That star from the packaging. This is like light pink base, very, very good weight. And you see the lovely covering of strawberry on the surface. When you open, you see the lovely five colors. Straight away, what the eye catching are this blue, lovely, lovely blue color. And then from the swatches perspective, you straight away can tell the pigment has been improved massively. It is medium to high pigment. When you touch the powder, it is creamy fine, very, very smooth. And there is no cakeness, no color patches. In this two eyeshadow palettes, there are four matte colors with one shimmer color. The shimmer color is so eye-catching. It's so pretty, very fine, shiny glitters. Not glitters, dust. It's like shiny sparkle dust spread it out on top of the base color. It is so pretty. And this lovely blue color in particular, which is very, very interesting because blue color, you do need to be a little bit creative on using blue colors, at least on our skin tone. But this one, look. It's more like blue to lavender, but has hinted gray in there. 
If you compare with this blue, what I'm wearing, you straight away can tell the difference. This blue is much more wearable compared to this blue and light sky blue. Light sky blue is, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, can easily make your eyes look like punched. And today's eye look, I used this eyeshadow palette that me zoom you in. What I've done, uh, this eye look is inspired actually by the Zumble eye look they created on their website. So you use mainly this strong blue color towards the out corner and very much focus towards your lash line and at the front a little bit. Then I extended my inner corner out a little bit and make it, made it a little bit like cat foxy eye. The number four palette, these two colors in particular, it give you the hint of that macaroon palette, but it's more practical. Look, and these two worked very well. Both of them actually have a little bit of purple based color in this two. So these two, when you merge together, they don't clash. They do actually work with each other. And the other one, which is zero two, this is more dark red, a little bit more burgundy based color and with lovely covering strawberry on top. If you see the color combination from this palette zero two, it is more neutral, more daily wearable, which is much more easy use color. The performance of each color are very, very smooth. The matte colors formulation, they are the same, but the shimmer color is slightly different. From this palette zero two, it more towards mud, mashed potato, that type of formulation. In the previous palette 04, when you touch it, it is like a standard shimmer colors feel. It is more towards a powder feel. This time, the four palettes, from the quality's perspective, from the performance, even with this art color and stronger performance color, there is no patchiness. See, it performed so well. And when you see the shimmer color, how sparkle, how shiny it is. It's way, way much better than all their eyeshadow palettes they had before. <laughs> so this time, if you're debating whether to get one, this time I would highly recommend to choose one of the preferred color combination this time. And it's, you won't be disappointed, let's put it that way. You won't be disappointed. Move on to blush. This time from this collection is packaging of this, but I also got a new flower nose uh, blush which only a couple of weeks ago so i'm going to talk about this two together first of all to see the um, new packaging it has a very good design in terms of combining the cuteness as well as the classic elegance together what do you see they posted on their uh, instagram this is exactly how it's looked and how you would expect when you receive it <laughs> This time I chose the color of 03 and it's a very, very detailed covering. And the other one is from their Circus series, uh, which I had uh, the blue and the pink blush before. And this time I chose a more common one, which is 06. So this is a two difference. Flower nose blush, the quality top notch, absolutely top notch. If you ask me to recommend only one item from Flower Nose, that is their blush. The quality, the performance, the pigmentation, the smoothness, and long lasting on your face, they tick all the boxes. So it's pretty much blind choice. You just choose your preferred color, you don't need to think about it twice. Today, I use the both one on my face. I use this new collections blush 03 more towards the middle of my face. And this color, it is very gentle, soft, like very young petal pink. If you just use on the blush its own, just to dash a little bit in the center of your face, it's very much lifting your spirits. It's making you look very fresh, but it doesn't look too cutie in a way. 
and the other blush which is from the circus series uh, it is a two color toned like a duo so this is the two colors one on the top and one at the bottom is more towards like dry rosy slightly plum color in there so you can see the color difference so i used this circus one more to connecting the middle pink towards the shading color to be honest today i put more than what is needed it's showing better on the camera actually but for day-to-day -day use you don't need to get this strong pigment on the face you can just light hand a little bit it will look even nicer and clean the formulation and the feel when you swatch the blush both of them feel exactly the same which actually feel the same as the eyeshadow palette this time it is creamy fine it is very very smooth and it's melting with your whole makeup so well the last one it is their liquid lipstick so well done on their packaging this time so well done so lovely so delicious when you look at it and this time the weight of the liquid lipstick is really really good it's really really good quality and when you hold it you will have second thought is like oh this must be glass it is actually not, but very, very good quality. The formulation this time. It is very smooth, lightweight, easy to apply. However, you probably noticed already. Did you see the faint out? From middle or uh, here. Can you see it? Oh, as I've been wearing this for over an hour, it does... It does find out. I did the drink water, but I purposely used the straw. And once it's set on your lip, it doesn't have too much transfer. You see? And you see on my on my straw. See. There isn't much transfer, however, the color does find out itself. So you do need to reapply it. Let me quickly do that actually. So let me show you once it's touched up. This formulation doesn't emphasize your lip lines, however, it doesn't help to smoothen out. So if you suffer from lip lines, you may want to bear that in mind. The color I got this time is S03. To be honest, this time when I trying to choose the colors, I didn't see any particular one that I'm interested. So I just find that they all a little bit like a uh, common in a way, including this one. This color, when you apply thin layer, is more towards like warm nude. More have coral, slightly tomato and orange base in this color, but it also have good amount of brown in there. It's not a extremely pretty color. I'm sure you easily find something similar. I think I definitely have similar colors in my collection. So Flower Nose new collection, the most impressive items I feel is actually their eyeshadow palettes. They absolutely exceeded my expectation. So very, very well done flower notes. And please do leave your comments down below and let me know whether you have tried one of their new eyeshadow palettes. If you did, what do you think? And if you haven't, which eyeshadow palettes you want to buy the most? I'm just a little bit curious to know. Hope today's video is somehow helpful and don't forget I do have a tutorial videos coming up by using these two palettes. So please do subscribe and I will see you on my next one.